Beware of illegal video cassettes. Check whether this video cassette carries a genuine label hologram. Video piracy is a crime. Do not accept it. Demand a genuine cassette from your video store. Poor quality illegal video cassettes reduce your viewing pleasure and jeopardize future film production. When in doubt, telephone the Federation against copyright theft. Fact on 0181 568 6646. Or in the case of the Republic of Ireland, 01 6777 071. Ninety-nine percent of your time and effort goes into three basic things. Your house, your family. Henry, you know those days that can change your whole life? This is one of them for us. For good or bad, it can happen either way today. So, you know, don't blow it. <laughs> and all three of them pulling you at once in different directions. Every day, I'm behind from the minute I get up. I walk, talk, and think as fast as I can just to keep my head above water. Wait a minute! It's not even, it'll be too, look, listen to me, ow. If you put them all together, three of them want more than you gotta give. I'm on my way out at 825, and I just happened to notice that our presses aren't running. It strikes me as rather odd, since we are, after all, a newspaper. Gotta go. First of all, you look fabulous. Your family, I mean, they're, they're people, and so you figure you can get a little human leeway there. I mean, you figure they'll bend. You listen, Henry, you listen. Of course, of course I see. I see what? So, what do you do about that? What, is that a gun? I told you, Sandusky's after me. When did you get so paranoid? When they started plotting against me. You got five hours until eight o'clock. Go get the story. Boy, what, what if these aren't the guys? What if they're innocent? We chain them today, we make them look good on Saturday. Everybody's happy. I saw the investor list. You are so good. You know how good you are at this? You drive me crazy in here like this. Or what are you wearing? It's wrong. Not for today, it's not. Tomorrow, it's wrong. We only have to be right for a day. People will read this, Alicia, and they'll believe us. Don't just take a position because it's the opposite of what she says. It's like watching a bunch of sixth graders. This is so good around this night. Tomorrow is fine. Tomorrow. No, 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 no. Today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Take the bat out of my hand. It's the ninth inning. You know what this is like. I gotta get the quote. The guys are gonna be there all night. I gotta get it. Can we run what we got. What the hell is going on? Are you This is the house that Davis built. This is the stranger who's moving into the house that Davis built. I'm Gwen, his wife. Mine's George. I'm his father. This is Davis, who's just discovered the stranger living in his house. What are you doing here? What am I doing? What are you doing here? You're in a lot of trouble. I am? How the hell come I never knew you were married? Hi, honey. Oh, my. Oh, he said, oh, what a great little town this was and what a fabulous house that he built. And the truth is... You told him you were my wife? I guess he was under the impression that I was... Insane? To marry a woman whose face you've never seen until your wedding day at the hospital when the doctor removes the gauze? What is happening? Steve Martin... You, you, you can't stay here. Why not? Is... You're a con artist! Newton Davis. Excuse me, excuse me. We have this amazing communication, you know, it's like... Gwen! Goldie Hawn... I'm going. Where did all this furniture come from? Is not. Well, I just told him to go ahead and put it on our account. Mrs. Davis. Would you mind not going around the house dressed like that? You know, you happen to look very pert. I want this marriage to work. What marriage? She is. The house sitter. I'd like for you to call me dad. Honey, are you OK? House sitter.
it's like organized confusion. It's over, over uh, three, four hundred degrees in temperature. And then you just got these guys that are running into this building. Everybody else is running out. And these lunatics are running in. Is that a real Chicago farmer's outfit I see on you? It's in the blood, Willie. When I heard that both McCaffrey brothers were being assigned here at this station together, my heart was filled with a, a sudden desire to transfer. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, damn you! Let's just have one drill, Lieutenant. Now one for the company and one for me. You have a bad day here. Somebody dies. Check that door for heat. I mean, is that an accident or is it arson? you will get an answer as soon as I do. We're starting to get the feeling that your office is dragging out this case. The chances that you did. How do we know if the floor's gonna be on fire on one of these? Well, when the door's open, if it's hot, don't get out. <laughs> Show me a fire truck. So you punched out a window for ventilation. Was that before or after you noticed you were standing in a lake of gasoline? You shouldn't have had him up there in the first place. You burned him, Stephen! We got a stone killer trying to make a point. Three guys have died already this year because of the cuts made by your task force. I'm not gonna quit, Steven, you hear me? Is there something about these deaths that you're not telling me? You guys should just try picking up the phone once in a while, you know? What would you like to do to the whole world? Burn it all. For hundreds of years, his people worked the land, but they could never own it. The bread in our house! I'll work my own land someday. From director Ron Howard comes the story of one man who wanted more. I'll stab you through. Ron Howard! I'm Joseph Donnelly. Of the family, Donnelly, that you pushed off our land. Get him upstairs! Our duty is to restore him to full health so he can hear his own neck crack when he dangles from the hangman's noose. I'm running away. You're brave. Come with me. He left behind everything he knew. Shannon! Yeah! For freedom. You could be my serving boy. Don't call me boy. In my imagination, America is a wonderfully modern place. Who is this bit of a sniff anyway, huh? She's my sister. And I'm your mother. But even in the land of the free... Nothing but an ignorant mick. Everything has a price. We haven't eaten for three days. I'll work for food. I don't hire Irish. All they have left is their dream. But America was built one dream at a time. Maybe this is my destiny. I made more money than you, and you're jealous! I can make money as fast as you can! You just watch me slap her! Stop this! This thing is out of here. Us. You love me. 
never seen anything like you in all of my living life. Stay away from her, do you hear me? Someone could get shot. Joseph! You're not in Ireland anymore! I think I like America. army, one name stands for pride, one name stands for courage, one name stands for honor, one name stands alone. Bilko! Yes, my colonel! We have rules and regulations. Sergeant Ernest G. Bilko. Let's go, campers! Wakey, wakey! I'm talking about a gambler. Help, help, help. <laughs> A conniver. Any one of these men would take a bullet for you. Well, not in the chest. No, no, no not in the chest. It's certainly not. The man who will sell you your own mail. Doesn't the army issue towels? The army? <laughs> Get him a set of towels. The fluffy ones. The introductory price. He's calm under pressure. Now, where did that one go? Ah! Brass! Cool under fire. We discovered a number of possible irregularities. Sergeant Milko! Colonel Hall, you look fantastic, sir. Have you lost weight? And courageous <laughs> under attack. Make the bad man stop. And Imagine Entertainment comes a man whose methods... Let's do the grab the rifle by the bottom thing. ...are anything but approved. You book me up for reveille? Drop and give me 20. Whose orders? All right, one. We're going for one. ...are anything but regulation. Are these yours? It is my understanding that you can no longer ask me these questions, sir. Woo! And whose training is anything but basic. He wet his bed. Oh, well, once in a while. No, he did it from across the room. Ooh! Steve Martin, Dan Aykroyd, and Phil Hartman. Look out! I'm just so damn proud. Sergeant Bilko. Bilko! Right. We have the crew crossing here.